Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of Homemade and today we are making one of, <laughs> again, it is one of my favorite dishes I must say and it is chicken and dumplings. Now, I know that there are so many variations um, to chicken and dumplings but it's very, very, very flavorful and we grew up on chicken and dumplings in our house and um, I just kind of adapted my mom's easy way of making the dumplings. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to boil our chicken and we are going to get our chicken stock. All my seasonings right here and I have one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder. I also have um, about a tablespoon of Creole seasoning. I have a half a teaspoon of celery salt, and I also have two tablespoons of my chicken bouillon. And again, we're not using so many seasonings in here, but when all the seasonings come together, they mesh really, really, really well. And we don't want it to be so salty. So if you notice, I didn't say salt um, that I added in here because... Um, my celery salt, it already has salt in it, of course, and also my chicken bouillon uh, along with the Cajun seasoning. So, onion powder, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning, um, bouillon, chicken bouillon seasoning, celery salt, that's it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add all of our seasonings to 12 cups of water. Now, you do want to have a large stock pot when you are making this or that your stock pot has a lid because we want to cook our chicken for about 45 minutes until it's kind of tender um, where we're able to debone it. Now, for this, I am using bony and chicken. With this, you can use the chicken breast or you can use the bony and chicken. For my chicken stock, you all, I've cut up three stalks of celery and I chopped them up really, really, really small and I also diced up a sweet onion and I diced both of those really 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 fine because we're not going to take them out of the raw but once they cook and you all this smells amazing right now just by adding the seasonings um, into the water. We're going to put this on medium to high heat and we are going to cook this for 45 minutes until our chicken is tender. But let's go ahead and get this started, come back, prepare our dumplings, and we're going to come back and sample this goodness. Our chicken has been boiling for about 35 to 40 minutes. We're going to go ahead and start to prepare our dumplings. Now, I've already sanitized my space that I'm going to be preparing my dumplings on, and that's very important. If you're not preparing them on a cutting board or something like that, make sure you sanitize your area. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bowl with my two cups of flour, and I'm just going to add my water in slowly. Now, you want this to form a ball of dough. You don't want it to be too liquefied, and you also don't want it to be too hard. So, my rule of thumb is typically about one cup to one and a half cups of water per two cups of flour. I'm going to pour just a little more in there. And I'm just going to stir that around really well until my ball forms. And I will take some extra flour and you're going to spread that out onto your area because you don't want your dough to stick. Now, with that being said, this is not like we're making bread or anything like that. Um, you don't have to knead this and all that. You know, you'll work it for maybe about 30 seconds just to form that ball to the point to where you can roll it out. 
So what I like to do is just put a little flour on top. And that's all I'm gonna do. Just kind of make sure it's all together. Because my dumplings aren't going to be big, I am going to roll my dough out. Um, not really thin, but I don't want it to be super thick either. So, you know, you decide how thick, how big you want your dumplings. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to go ahead and cut it before I take my chicken out of my broth. And again, I'm just using the roller and I like using this because, you know, you get more, uh, you cut more at one time. I am going to take my chicken out and I'm gonna set it aside and let it cool. I will start to put in my dumplings and I just like to pick them up, break them apart as I'm putting them in there because I don't like for them to be stuck together. Your dumplings are going to expand when you place them into the water. So, right now, our dumplings are floating on top of the water. As they start to cook, they're going to start to sink to the bottom. That indicates when our dumplings will be done. They want to show you the change in the dumplings. After your dumplings are completely done, then you'll add in your chicken. And we're also going to add in boiled eggs. I love boiled eggs in my dumplings. No more dumplings are floating on top of the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove them from the heat. And I am going to put in my chicken and my eggs at this point. And I'll add in my shredded chicken. I just chopped up four soft boiled eggs you all and i like to go ahead and put mine into the bowl instead of just trying to chop them up individually because again i do not want to get hit with that splashback that is our chicken and dumpling i'm going to leave my lid off um we're gonna let it rest for about three to five minutes Come back and you all, we are going to sample it. We are going to go ahead and <sighs> dig into this. And you all, just look out. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. Now, of course, it is still hot. So, I am going <laughs> to have to blow this. When I say the flavors, oh my goodness. When you try it, make sure you leave your comments in the comment section below. Leave your pictures. Let me know if you liked it, if you didn't like it. Let me know your variation of chicken and dumplings if you don't make it this way. If you want to keep seeing our easy homemade recipes, make sure you like, subscribe, and share our channel. And I always end with saying this, you all. Cooking, it's as easy or as hard as you make it. But I promise you, if you keep it simple, just be yourself. Life in itself can be so much easier. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Homemade. And until next time, continue to be great.